I am the 17th architect of my family and I was always interested in going into a larger domain which is urban design and urban planning and that's where I was introduced to GIS. I joined NYU as a uh, GIS specialist and then slowly transitioned into a manager role. And what interests me or I would say interests data services at NYU is the cross-disciplinary research that goes on with a lot of different types of data, a lot of different types of disciplines. That is where the value-added piece comes into play. I would say the way we grew, uh, we started with uh, basic GIS services, which, you know, very few software. Slowly we came to know that, you know, researchers need more than just GIS help. So then we started framing a larger question, how do we provide uh, a full service? So that's when we said, okay, we want to look into what we call data lifecycle or research data lifecycle from collection to analysis, to visualization, storage, and preservation. So what we do is we started this um, spatial data repository, but as you know that if you Google or if you search for any spatial data, there's a lot of noise out there because of um, you know, poor metadata or people have just created anything and uploaded it. And that means that there's a lot of data and a lot of data has geospatial component to it. A lot of it is machine learning, so now you have this either big data set or, uh, or process-intensive data set where you have to go on to a high-performance computing or machine learning piece. And this is where I see the future is, and there's a lot of research that's going on at NYU specifically which deals with big data. I would want ArcGIS and Esri product to be part of it because they have a ready-made capabilities within those big data analytics field. We only used to have very few GIS users, but I would say within a span of nine years, almost every department have used GIS at NYU, which I take it as a tacit compliment.